You're listening to the Bobby Soul Show here on WBLZ. Today, a very special guest, the star of What About Bob, Jaws, and Close Encounters, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> yeah, Bob, man, I noticed that uh, you left out Moon Over Paranoia always and once around. Now, a more paranoid actor would think that you eliminated them to prove that they were really crappy movies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, Richard, I, uh, I love your work, all of it. As a matter of fact, I bet you could make anything dramatic. I bet you could make that weather report dramatic. Well, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> there is a cold front coming in from Canada that is going to be rather severe. I'm not talking about any ordinary cold front. I'm talking about ice and snow. I'm talking about a blizzard here. You know? That's great. That's enough. Thank you. No, it's not enough. If these people aren't warned, then you are going to have a major catastrophe on your hands, including traffic jams, lost mittens, and school closings. I'm talking about a major blizzard here, you know? Wow. You really brought that weather report to life. <laughs> Where's the cups? Where's the coffee? Where's the office? <laughs> Whoever cleaned this out sure must like music. All they left us was the soundtrack from Blackula, <laughs> an iced tea Christmas album. <laughs> Good Lord, they took everything. My ratings, books, my listener surveys, thousands of dollars worth of CDs and equipment. Things, Colette, just things. The important thing is, nobody was hurt. Oh, no. Oh, God almighty! They got my coffee mug! Hey, Don, maybe the cops will let you go through their mug book. <laughs> I love that mug. It was given to me in 1975 by the Michigan Broadcasting Guild. They even had my name printed on it. Don, isn't that the cup that says... Dan? They missed one letter, so what? <laughs> Come on, Don, let's go buy some new CDs. Um, uh, sir? Sir? Uh, sorry, l let me, uh, please let me run through this thing with you one more time. Uh, you left your residence, the, the love condo, at uh, 10.30, uh, you came to work, and then at 1 a.m., two men wearing ski masks came bursting in and uh, forced you into that closet. The love man was caught completely off guard. He never had a chance. He meaning you? Correct, he. <laughs> you? Well, that's what he just said, he. <laughs> you? Unbelievable. We've been here for years and nothing like this has ever happened. Fact is, ma'am, you've been lucky. Your offices all around this area have been getting robbed for six months now. Six months? And you haven't found the crooks yet? Oh, we found them. They're working out of a vacant warehouse right across the street here. See, we'll wait until they try to fence the stolen property, then we make the bust. Now, how are you supposed to know when that happens? Well, hopefully, my partner and I will be watching them from your office. Oh, you mean like a stakeout? Yeah. Oh, no. No. I cannot have a bunch of cops around here all night leaving donut crumbs all over the place. <laughs> hey, partner. We moving in? Oh, is uh, he your partner? Uh-huh. What kind of donuts you like? Powdered, glazed, or dipped in chocolate? <laughs> Yo, Detroit, this is Bobby Soul. Don't let me down, Motown. Get out of bed. Dance to the music. 
Only problem is, we got no music to dance to, so uh, <laughs> instead, we got Bill Cosby here live in the booth to do the theme song from Shaft. Now, the Santa's boy Shaft is about balling. <laughs> so, you're about talking about the Shaft. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elaine. I work down the hall. I heard you got robbed and didn't have any music, so I brought you some of our CDs. Oh, that's really nice of you. Well, let's see what you got here. <laughs> Barry Manilow, Paul Anka, Johnny Mathis. Wow, Lawrence Welk's death must have hit you really hard. Actually, I'm a dental hygienist. We play those at work. Ah, small world. I got teeth. <laughs> Boy, she's really cute. Great incisors. Are you bicuspid? <laughs> God, that was a stupid thing to say. She's clever, too. So, uh, tell me, Lane, are you seeing anybody? Too fast, too fast. I made my move too fast. Boy, he moves fast. What a turn on. I, I am available, if that's what you mean. You idiot. Of course that's what he wants to know. I mean, I'm not... If you're not busy Saturday night, I, I happen to be free as well. <laughs> yeah, like I haven't been free every Saturday night since the Carter administration. Am I free Saturday night? I better play hard to get. Sure, a Sunday's good too. <laughs> I'll pick you up at 7.30? She said yes! She said yes! Ah, oh, these night vision binoculars are amazing. It's almost like you're in the room with those crooks. Yeah, man, these are hot. I sure wish they had some X-ray vision. Jamming, it would only break your heart to see what you're missing. Oh, and here's my son Earl at Disney World. He was four. Oh, he looks like he's crying. Yeah, he was getting along fine with Snow White, and then these two dwarfs ran up and scared him half to death. <laughs> he kicked Grumpy in the you-know-where. <laughs> if he wasn't Grumpy before, he sure was then. <laughs> Your son is cute, just like his mother. <laughs> oh. Do you always wear that? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry. Well, I guess I better get back to work. That guy at the table is reading the sports section. You see that? Yeah. And that other guy looks like he's pouring some coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. He's drinking some coffee. Out of my mug! <laughs> What's my mug? That cheap, scummy lowlife is drooling in my mug! You talking about that cup that says Dan? <laughs> I mean, that was the most fun I've had in years. Look at all this stuff. A Cupid doll, a stuffed elephant, giant lollipop. You had a good time, huh? Sure. I've never been to a carnival supply store before. <laughs> you know, Bobby, the people I deal with, the work that I do, it's all so serious. It's great to be able to act like a kid once in a while. Good. You know, um, my shift is over at 11, and uh, if you like late-night dining, I know a great pancake house. I hop? No, I'll pick you up. Veronica, tell me about you and Sergeant Lloyd. Colette, I have insurance claims to fill out, the station to put back together. I do not have time for this kind of chit-chat. Fine. Well, if you're gonna drag it out of me. <laughs> he invited me to dinner tomorrow night. Oh, that's great. It would be if I knew what to do. <laughs> and what do men expect from women these days? I mean, 
Suppose he wants me to have sex? Have sex? I was gonna say pick up the check. <laughs> oh my God, suppose he does want me to have sex. Then you better make sure he picks up the check. <laughs> Hi. I thought you were on the air. I am. I put on the soundtrack to The Wiz. Listen, <laughs> I don't even know where you live. I don't know where to pick you up. Oh, listen, I may have to work later. Why don't you pick me up here? Great. I'll see you later. Great. He said, better ease on, ease on down the hallway. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I better be getting back, too. No, way back. Sergeant. Come here. What do you think you're doing? When you're working undercover, you don't play kissy face with a civilian. It was nothing, Ed. Well, that's good. It's very good. Because as your superior, I don't want you seeing him again. Veronica? Don? Veronica? Well? Veronica, what are you doing? Sniff me. Uh, Veronica, the, if, if this is your way of lifting my morale because of my stolen mug, it's, it's quite unnecessary. Don, how could you possibly think I was coming on to you? Well, I mean, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> you know, I'm a ruggedly handsome man. Well, I was merely asking your opinion of my dress and my perfume for my date tonight. Oh. Well, the dress is absolutely beautiful. What about the perfume? Tacky. Good morning, Bobby. What's good about it? Elaine stood me up. Stood you up? Yeah. Well, I'm sure she had a good reason. Did you try to call her? I don't know. I don't even have her number. I don't even know where she lives, man. I mean, I went to that office that she works at, that dentist's office, and the door was locked. There was nobody there. Yo, brother, I had women stand me up before, but I ain't never had none skip town. <laughs> Love man, you're the love expert. Say something. The love man says, gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. <laughs> Haven't had French food in years. Not unless you count the French toast I made for Earl this morning. <laughs> oh, French toast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, no, no, it wasn't. I just laugh like an idiot when I get nervous. Me too. You too? Oh, thanks. Your selection, sir. Excellent choice. It's one of our finest wines. Under six dollars. Excuse me. Now, uh, where were we? We were both nervous. Oh. <laughs> 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 you see, you see, the thing is, I haven't been out with a woman since my wife and I split. You won't believe this, but I put on this suit and tie and modeled it for my desk sergeant just to see what he thought. Is that idiotic? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 so now the little guy's going into the bathroom. So is the big guy. <laughs> Keep me posted. Can do, Kojak. <laughs> All right, my turn. Hey, come on, leave me alone. Hey, I don't recall him giving those to you. 
And I don't recall him appointing you deputy. Oh, I guess he appointed you deputy. Yes, he did. He said I was his secret deputy. No, he didn't. <laughs> I'm the deputy. Yeah, deputy dog. <laughs> Jeff, I'm gonna tell on you. Guys, 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 this is it. The fence is here. A big truck pulled up, the man got out, and now they're upstairs with him. What's that guy got in his mouth? That big wad. That's chewing tobacco. Oh, my God. God, he's looking for some place to spit it. No, 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 not in my mug. <laughs> I hope you choke on it, you maggot. Don, are you crazy? He heard you. Nah, no, he didn't. Then why they coming over here? Only kidding. <laughs> we were just bird watching. <laughs> this chicken is delicious. It would be even better if we had some wine. <laughs> you know, funny, all the time we talked, I, I never realized that you were married before. I'm not going to pry and ask what happened. Thank you. What happened? <laughs> to be honest, she left me. She just couldn't stand the stress of being married to a cop. I guess that would be hard. Loving somebody that has to put their life on the line every day. I know what it's like to lose a husband, and I don't think I can go through that again. Hey, 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 being a cop is not as dangerous as you might think. Anyway, can we forget about all that? Tonight, I'm off duty. Tonight is special. Tonight, I'm just a regular guy out with a very special lady. Uh-oh, it's going down. I told my partner to beat me here if the fence showed up. I'm sorry, we gotta go. Oh. I'm sorry. I did it! I did it! The bottle is open! <laughs> oh, there you are. You know, I've been looking all over for you. Jeez, God, we gotta talk. Bobby, please. Elaine, what happened to you? You know, I I was worried. I, I, I thought you just disappeared. You almost called the cops. Look, Bobby, we can't talk. It'll have to wait till later. No, no, Elaine. We gotta talk now. I'm not gonna wait another minute. <gasps> hey. Then again, what's the rush? Is the ones you saw in the window? Hard to say, man. It was kind of dark. Let's drag him across the street first and figure it out. All right. Hi. <gasps> Freeze! Oh. <laughs> hey, you, uh, you dental assistants come prepared for everything, huh? <laughs> Police officer, mister. You're a cop? Let him go now. No, you let him go. Well, how about everybody let everybody go and we all go have donuts? <laughs> Shut up. Look, pal, you're on the hook for grand theft. Don't make it any worse on yourself. Why didn't you tell me you were a cop? Because I was working undercover. We thought these guys were working with somebody in the building. You lied to me. I didn't want to, Bobby. I didn't want to stand you up either. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> how was I supposed to know I'd fall for you? Uh, people, uh... I don't think this is the proper forum to be discussing these issues. <laughs> okay, lady, you got till three to back off, or this guy's warm bait. One. Oh. Just drop the gun, nice and easy. Two. Don't forget, you're allowed to use fractions. <laughs> don't do it, mister. Come on, come on, we need some more stuff. Look, why y'all sweating it? With this barricade we got up, there ain't no way anybody can push that door open. the hell is this? What the hell was that? Bobby, Veronica, what happened? Oh, you're not gonna believe this. We got off the elevator and surprised him. Steven grabbed that one and he fired a shot. And that's when I got hold of him. And she pulled my hair, too. <laughs> oh, my God, you've been hit. It's okay, he just grazed me. Why is that dental technician handcuffing that man? Because he didn't brush after every meal. I'm taking it from here, Stephen. Sergeant, they're in a squad car downstairs. Come on, you bum. Move it, both of you. Right in there. Move it. Hey, 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 hey. Not so fast. What did you clowns do with my mug? Who the hell are you? I'm Dan. <laughs> oh, OK. Come on, people. Let's go back to work. Detective Lloyd. You better have that arm looked at. I'll drive you down to the hospital. No, I'll drive him. No, that's okay. That's all right. I, I think I put you through enough already tonight. 
I'm taking you. Thought you didn't want to get involved with the cop. I'm involved already. Come on. Now look, I... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be held against you. All right. I don't blame you for being angry. I just wish there was a way I could make up for it. I got a couple parking tickets. Oh, come on, Bobby. Hey, what do you want me to say, Elaine? You know, okay, it's fine. No sweat. I'll call you in the morning. What do I dial, 911? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I can deal with this, Elaine. I don't live by that many rules, but one of them is that I date honest people, and you lied to me. I'm sorry. I was just doing my job. But everything else I told you was the truth. Hey, I, I believe you, Elaine. Oh, by the way, my real name's Adrian. <laughs> it was really nice to meet you, whoever you are. Yeah, you too. Elaine! Elaine! It's Adrian. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs>